Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I want to do is to talk about, explain in a very elementary way, what a tourbillon is, why it was made in the first place, how it works, and then um, some other things about, like, well, I made a tourbillon watch uh, and here it is doing its, have a, no, it's, it's going there. You can see it's sort of moving around as it, as it ticks away. I'll show you a better picture of it in a bit. Um, so let's take a look at this. Now, here's a, a, a pocket watch. I don't have a regular pocket watch. I got something very close uh, that I can pop in my vest pocket. This is my uh, Beauvais 1930, which is essentially a pocket watch that they put a, a crown and bow on and then a bar lug on the bottom and stuck straps on it. But the, when you have one, it just goes in like this and it stays in the same position all the time. Here's a Patek Philippe um, pocket watch. By the way, too, this particular pocket watch is a they're still selling them. It's a contemporary one. I was surprised. Anyway, when you look at the movement, you've got a gravity is pulling everything in one direction. And uh, Abraham Louis Breguet thought, and was, I'm sure he was right. <laughs> I don't know how he measured it. But if, if you have the pull of gravity in a single direction, it's going to goof up your constant speed somehow. In other words, when it, it by pulling everything down, some other things in the, the way the watch will work will be influenced by that pull in a single direction. Okay, so we came up with the idea of a tourbillon. And essentially, what a tourbillon is, is you have something that's referred to as a tourbillon cage. And and, and don't ask me how to how to make one, <laughs> but I understand the concept, and it's a pretty cool concept. Basically, you have the cage, and the cage turns the uh, your balance wheel, your escapement around. It just sort of like your go, goes around and around. I'll show you a picture of how it works in a bit, and in that way, the different parts are pulled evenly toward gravity. And again, now this is for a watch that you've got in in this position. Now, uh, when it comes to a wristwatch, a wristwatch goes in all different kinds of, of positions. Uh, you have it this way, this way, and you know, you're swinging your arm and it goes in all kinds of directions. And so you don't have that single pull. And this is why most people watchmakers look at tourbillons as sort of cool things, interesting things, but they really don't help the accuracy of a wristwatch, even though they can help uh, in the accuracy of a, um, this is my faux <laughs> pocket watch. Okay, now, what's with tourbillons? I don't have, well, I do now because I just made it, but I, by and large, the problem with tourbillons for me was that they were crazy expensive. Uh, here's a couple of Vesteron Constantin overseas. Uh, one of my first luxury watches was a overseas. Love that thing. Wore it all the time. And um, now the one I had was a bit older and I didn't spend $25,000 on it. However, um, if you look at, this is the uh, the list price that they have today. I went and took a look at the uh, Vesteron Constantin uh, website, and they have these two different overseas. One had without the tourbillon and one with it. The difference is over $100,000. It's 25000 for the overseas, a regular steel one. Um, and it's $129,000 for one with a tourbillon. And this isn't just Vesteron Content 10. It's just about all watches is, uh, that you look at. You're going to find this huge difference between a tourbillon and a non-tourbillon. So I thought, well, 
even though it probably not going to help the accuracy be sort of fun to have one anyway. So I, I went to AliExpress and I found one for, I think it was listed for $114 uh, with tax and shipping. It was $125 for a tourbillon. And then I blew another 20 bucks for a case to go with it. And the, uh, the it was, it's, it's, it's got to be the easiest uh, do-it-yourself kind of wash making that there is. When you get it up in the upper left-hand corner there, you can see that it comes, it comes with a dial, it comes with the hands, and then the tourbillon, and uh, you can wind it up just as it is, and it'll work just fine. And so if you want to put it in a case and, and you know, make a wristwatch out of it uh, like this, uh, what you need, you need a watch case and, of course, and you need straps. So the first thing you have to do is to take the stem out so that you can put it inside of the, the holder area for the case and there's a there's a little pusher button there's a little stem release button right above the winding gear and what i found was useful i use the spring bars pointed in i've, I've used it for little pushers like that before and it, it works fine it doesn't hurt the bar i mean you got to be you know use your head with it but it's um you can just push that little button button down with the pointed end of a spring bar tool um so that makes it easy and when you push it down then you pull out the uh, stem now the once you get it out then you can put it inside the case and uh before you close it up you can push it down again and put the stem back now, as you can see, I haven't trimmed down the this, this stem. In fact, it's still, what did I do with it? Uh, I, it's still sticking out a little, if you can see it there. I put, ah, put it on the wrong side. There it is. You can see the how, how far the stem is out. And that uh, will be a matter of doing one of my least favorite jobs in making a watch. <laughs> and that's trimming the stem because if you do it too too much then you got to get a new stem for it uh and then you know you just screw on the top of the case and you know bob's your uncle it's uh your your watch is done now you have a tourbillon and instead of spending hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars or something like that uh this one is my tourbillon uh, oh, by the way, too, it's in a regulator shape. It's got the hour hands up here, and then it has central minute hands. And then the tourbillon is a one-minute tourbillon. In other words, it does a complete cycle around uh, to move the uh, to move the movement. And anyway, uh, to to end this, there's a little close-up video of the the way it works, and here it is.